Hello YouTube, we are back in Minecraft 1.8 for another challenge, the speed challenge, quick start challenge, speed challenge thing, proposed by Lorgon111, played by Christian Mac, Lorgon111, Schism, etc, etc. The world name, I'm just going to call it quick start challenge, game mode survival, remember this is 1.8 so we only have survival and creative, world options, no seed, well random seed, um, generate structures on, world type, you didn't have an option, change that, create new world, and we hope we get a good spawn, basically anything but, alright, yep, good spawn even make bricks. Uh, the one thing you gotta make, you want in this um, basically challenge is to spawn with food around you and a cave system and trees. And we found trees. I don't see any food yet, but I'm not really looking right now. I will be in just a minute once I get a stone axe, stone sword and stone pickaxe made. Uh, that'll speed up our adventures. Uh, let's see here. I see, do see a chicken. All right, we'll have to remember that. I see multiple chickens up there. That's good. Get some fried chicken for our Minecraft character. He loves KFC. I do not like KFC at all. That is a disgusting company. Boycott KFC. Anyhow, <laughs> grabbing some of this wood. That's probably gonna be the last block I can break of that wood up there. Yeah, thought so. I'm think I'm gonna go to 20 logs. Seems to be James' magic number, and I think that's about a good amount to get. Basically, I'm just going to chop down this tree and see where I'm at. <laughs> Should get us close enough. Wood, you don't want to run out of wood while you're down there. You also want, don't want to spend too much time. It's kind of a delicate balance, honestly, between not enough and enough wood, and too much wood, where it just takes away time from your gameplay. This, probably as it is, is enough wood. I'm going to go to 19, actually. I think 19 will be good. And I know I don't like when people cut trees like I just cut them on the server. Oh, look at that. It's 20. All right, we're all good. Uh, but, hey, <laughs> sorry, but this is a speed challenge. I'm not going to be careful about cutting down trees all the way. But if I was just doing a single-player world, I, you know, just for the fun of it, uh, it does kind of bug me when trees look like that if I'm around them much, so I would obviously fix that. All right, I'm going to get enough for an iron sword and an iron pickaxe. So four, five, that's enough. And just grab all this stuff and proceed to kill chickens once I craft my necessary tools and fighting implements of choice. That was kind of weird. I think I got enough sticks there. Let's see. And then you just have to have one, and we have a sword. And I'm just going to kill this chicken here. Not going to worry about taking my crafting table. Look at all these quite a few chickens and quite a few sheep. You, I don't know if you can sleep or not. I don't need, know if you can use F3 or not. I don't know the specifics on that. I'm just going to avoid it and not use any either of those. I don't see sleeping being exceptionally useful. F3 maybe to know your mining depth, but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Kill that chicken. And move on. I might also do uh, some other speed challenges, but I don't know if I really want to go back any later than 1.8.1 because anything before that, and I think it'd just be too long uh, of a gap and I'd be really unused to the game dynamics. Even though I know I did love Minecraft 1.7.3, I'm not used to those game dynamics anymore, so I don't know, we'll see. But at any rate, we are off. We have an ample supply of food for a little bit. Is that, yes, that is a cave system. Wonderful, brilliant, I know you can't see. There's some coal though, so I'm going to be able to make some torches for you guys. Uh, Alright, now you can see. And mine. And break. Break. I'm just gonna grab some coal, make some torches, also to have for the furnace later. Ooh. Look what I found. I wanna go as deep as I can, as quickly as I can, because the deeper you are, the better the resource spawns are, although that other direction back this way also looks quite promising for going down quite fast. So I'm gonna go down this way. There is iron here. I'm gonna collect some of this iron. We need 24 iron plus another five for a pickaxe, and a sword, plus another, say, three for another pickaxe. So, 24, plus five, 29, plus another three. We're gonna try to go for 32 iron. So, I'm gonna add a torch there. I'm also gonna craft some more torches real soon. I'll just dig down, might as well, through the coal, get some more coal while I'm at it. Coal, and decoal. All right, so, I'm just gonna make some more sticks here. <laughs> Sticks are very useful in Minecraft. If you ever craft too many, don't really worry about it. <laughs> You'll use them. Well, it depends on how many you craft, actually. But, <laughs> yes, because they're used for tools, for torches, for ladders, so much. Basically, I'm going over this for anyone who's kind of new to Minecraft. I'm not going to be like doing a whole, you know, 
this is a pickaxe. But you know, if you're kind of just getting the hang of Minecraft, uh, some useful things you want to go for first. Some, you want to go for definitely some wood uh, to get started. Wood is like your number one resource for what you want to get first. In that order. Then it goes to coal, then to iron. Then after iron, you're going to want to work on getting some. Most people would probably say you want to work on finding diamond after you find iron. I personally think you want to work... Oh, cobblestone is right after... I don't know if I mentioned cobblestone. Alright, I'm getting numbers mixed all up. I'm just going to kind of glaze over that. Get cobblestone and cobblestone tools. Uh, move on from stone tools over to iron tools as fast as possible. And once you have iron tools, proceed to uh, either look, uh, look for diamond and find food, basically. Depending on whether you spawned near food and you killed it. So that's kind of a basic checklist, I think. I don't know what to, quite what level I'm at, but I'm just going to kind of keep going down wherever I see the opportunity. Through here, and go down another level. Let's see how much iron we have once we mine out this vein. Veins commonly, and I know I say this probably every time, oh wow, look what we discovered. They do spawn diagonally commonly, so it's good to kind of dig around at least a little bit if you want to maximize your yield from iron veins. Um, Alright, Geronimo! Ow. Alright, this is back when they made that little noise, which I don't think they do anymore. Wow, this is a nice descent. We're gonna get very close to bedrock very soon. Uh, I'm just, I can afford to go up a little bit, I guess, here. And look, we found diamond! Ah! Yay! Alright, this is going to be meticulous, very careful work. I don't have a iron pickaxe, but I can certainly make one quite easily. Place a torch. Uh, we have 19 iron right now, still not enough to make the iron armor. See how much. All right. Looks like we have. Looks like we have all the diamond we're gonna need for this challenge. That is amazing. We are making amazing time with this. So I'm gonna make another crafting table. Place that down. This is gonna be a very quick, hurriedly kind of thing. Uh, what was I gonna make? What was I gonna make? Um. Yes, furnace. Luckily, I don't have any coal on me. <laughs> That's a pain. All right. Uh, smelt, smelt, smelt. I'm gonna go try to grab a little bit of coal while I'm waiting. I think I saw some coal yeah out there. I'm going to get rid of this water, it's kind of annoying me. So I'm going to fill it up with this. Ah, let me go! Ah, alright. Got rid of the got rid of the water there. Alright, and you're just going to place a torch here, and proceed to grab some of this coal, so we can smelt more, more efficiently. Because I don't want to run out of that wood, although I do have more wood than I need, I suppose. I don't know if coal grows in veins, but I'm not going to really worry about that. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Looking for more coal and veins, and it's right next to me anyhow. There is some more water there I'm going to want to patch up real quick. <laughs> Minecraft patch. If you're wondering how I downgraded to Minecraft 1.8, uh, it was quite easy. I used uh, MC... not MC patch, what am I talking about? MC Nostalgia, which basically allows you to downgrade to any past Minecraft version. It's quite awesome. Uh, I've, I've experimented with it a little bit, going back to, you know, Alpha and whatnot, and it's, it's, a, diff it's a whole different game back then. It's crazy. But it's really cool seeing kind of the progression of Minecraft. Um, the only reason I'm not doing uh, kind of more things in older versions is I'm not used to the game dynamics anymore, to be honest. I'm not used to, you know, <laughs> all the weird things they throw at you with different... Um, let's see... Ten, this one has five. Alright, take three of those and put them... Alright, it's balanced. I probably spent way too much time doing that. But at any rate, you got enough iron ingots to make a pickaxe, iron pickaxe, so we can mine all this diamond. We've got to be very careful that this diamond doesn't, you know, fall. Uh, Alright, it looks like we have a completely safe area under us. It's over there. And so I'm just going to grab this. Two, three, four, five, and six diamond. Awesome. See, that's what I was talking about. There's probably, you know, lava around here. I'm going to just kind of patch that up so I don't fall into it. That would be so sad right now if I just fell into that random... <laughs> Lava. Alright, it's gonna grab these iron ingots. Once that one finishes smelting, what's oh, what's this one at? Alright, almost done. Once it's done, alright, just start kind of breaking it. Furnaces back um, now in this version took longer to uh, break, even with a pickaxe, than they did in versions nowadays. So we're just going to kind of <laughs> go along with that. I don't know, I have enough wood, I'm not gonna bother collecting the crafting table. And we're just going to kind of go back up and grab more iron. I find it ironic that we have all of our diamond taken care of before the iron. But hey, I'm not going to complain at all, because that would suck if I fell down there. Because iron is much easier to find, I feel. So at this point in the game, there's some gold. Don't need gold. 
Not going to bother with it at all. Uh, redstone, lapis lazuli, useless, 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 and useless. So I'm going to go up here, just kind of back up to where I was, where I was finding a lot of that iron, and just going to set up a smelting station and get everything going with cobblestone, and get <laughs> sorry, that was retarded, and get everything going with, uh, with our crafting abilities. So that looks like it loops around, but we did find iron, so it was worth it. I'm going to mine, start mining with the iron pickaxe, because why not? I don't see why not to start mining with the iron pickaxe, simply because we already found the diamond, so it's not like we got to conserve it for when we find the diamond. Alright. Just go with the flow, as they say. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Where am I? Alright, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to block this off. And there. Put down a torch. Sorry, guys, couldn't really see that too well. And I'm just gonna mine that iron out. Oop! I'm gonna use the iron pickaxe. And I am going to, of course, uh, jump down there and grab that iron. Just a second, once I get this iron, and check if that veins. Nope, it doesn't. All right. So we're just gonna kind of build our way carefully down here. Keyword: carefully. That doesn't happen very often, Maxwell. Ooh, what's over here? <laughs> I'm a very distracted person. Alright, uh, nothing over there. Doesn't look like. Give me my torch. Alright, I'm just gonna build back up. This will be fast. And we'll get up here, and we'll just proceed to follow this kind of waterfall thing up. Water is nice when you're going in the direction the water is flowing, I suppose. If I was coming from up there down here, I'd be like, oh yeah, I get a water ride, but no. I don't need any more coal, it doesn't look like. Alright, I don't think this is the direction of we really want to go in. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Alright, see how fast it is coming down, though? Yay, I can ride a boat. Alright, I could, but that would be kind of dumb. Let's see what else we have around here. We've already apparently been in this area before. Oh, look, more iron. Alright, see how our iron's doing. We have 13 iron, or 14, 15, 16, 17. Alright, so we should have 16. There's 17. 17 plus 16. Alright, we have enough for everything we need now. I think we do anyway. Just going to start smelting half that iron and the other half here. There we go. And I'll make a new crafting table. Just whatever. And throw that wood over there. Why not? Make some more sticks. Going to make our um, tools. So that, and then like that to make a shovel, and like that finally to make a sword. So we have a pick, a sword, and a shovel all made of diamond. Uh, feathers, I from guess killing chicken. Got almost enough iron here, actually, come on, one more, one more, alright, and one more on you. And we're almost there. Craft as fast as you can. Alright, bloom, bloom. <laughs> and and there we go. I'm going to put the iron armor on, boots, helmet, and leggings. We have beat Schism's time. We have beat everyone else's time at around 13 minutes. I haven't seen anyone do faster. There probably is someone who did faster. But thank you for joining us. This was the Omicron crew, and we will see you next time.